And let's cross over to Kajiado and see what's happening there. And there have been a lot of complaints in Kajiado, especially as regards the UDA woman representative ticket. Brenda Wanga is on that beat and joins us live. Good evening, Brenda. As regards the woman representative contest, are we likely to get the county results announced and what exactly is the issue around that position? Well, thank you, Lillian. We are here in Kajiado Town, Kajiado County. And like you mentioned clearly there, there has been a lot of controversy surrounding the results for the governor's seat here. The governor's seat, the senator's seat, and the women representative seat. The, and the results were announced about an hour ago, and the results indicated what seems to be a clear winner for the governor's seat uh, going to Kato Olemetito, who is currently also an MP in this very const uh, county. He garnered seven. 22,679 votes against his closest competitor, Paris uh, Tobiko, who managed to get 26,002 votes. For the senator's seat, uh, the win went to Seki Lenko, who got 44,670 votes against Tunai Koilel with 36,328 votes. Now, to the seat that you have mentioned that had attracted a lot of attention earlier, uh, the women representative seat, it was a very closely contested race earlier in the morning the incumbent MP and he's also running for the seat uh, uh Teya Janet coming to the tallying center complaining already that uh, there, there, there was some foul play in the tallying of the voters of the votes from the constituencies. Uh, the challenger Lea Sankale also coming to the same same tallying center and uh, expressing confidence also at the same time saying that she was not satisfied with results from some of the constituencies. But when the tally was finally announced, uh, the winner ended up being Lea Sankale with 41,560 votes against Teya Janet, who got 39,212,000 ,000 votes. And now the losers in this contest saying they will not accept the results because they insist that there was a lot of foul play throughout the exercise that took place yesterday. From the voting to the counting, they claim that there were instances where there were ballot boxes that were stuffed, instances where some people were allowed to vote more than one time, instances where agents of some of the competitors, the aspirants, were not allowed to access some of the polling stations. Uh, so they say they will be taking this complaints to the next stage, some of them at least, uh, from what we Ghana and what we have heard from the uh, governor aspirant, Paris Tobiko. She says she has no faith that the party uh, processes put in place by UDA to address some of these complaints will actually resolve the issue at hand. She says she is waiting to consult with her constituents to see what her next step will be, but she still says she is hopeful that she will be on the ballot box. In the Senate race, uh, we've seen the loser tonight quite saying that uh, asking the party to ensure that this exercise is carried out afresh before the deadline for the nomination uh, comes to an end. 